Welcome to Buckeye Country Creations. We love our family, and we love to cook and bake, and we love to eat. Yes, we do. We love to thrift at flea markets and visit antique shops, and we love to travel. And we love adventure. So come along and join us at Buckeye Country Creations. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia, and in today's video, we're going to get this house cleaned, get it organized, get some laundry done, maybe get something good cooked because I am so far behind. As you can see, my house is a mess. This is the state of our house after me being gone to a conference and then working a full-time job and my husband being busy filming his YouTube channel and going and purchasing different cars. But that's what we're going to do today is get this all cleaned up and straightened up and ready for the next week. So if you want to hang out, come on over. Hang out with me, we'll talk, we'll figure things out, but let's get this thing done. And it's that time of year where it's cold outside and so we all like to cuddle with our blankets and our throws and get nice and cozy and warm, but they all seem to end up everywhere. So let's get these folded up. still been looking for the big huge basket to put all of my blankets in our throws in because in the winter time we love to sit in our chairs and get cozy with a blanket or whatever but I still have not found it so I'm just gonna keep looking but we're gonna get these folded up and then we'll move on into the kitchen get these stacked up and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with them because I really don't know where I'm gonna put them all Stars come to shine when it's dark. Okay, let's talk about the reality of fitted sheets. I hate folding fitted sheets. I have watched numerous videos on YouTube, and I don't know about y'all, but they make me crazy because I'm a little bit OCD, not extremely, and I like for my things to be folded. So I go corner to corner like this, like they say to do, and flip it and pull through. But then when I get over here to this other corner, I don't have two hands to do that with. So how does that work? I guess I'm gonna put it under. And this is actually a twin sheet, fitted sheet from my husband's truck semi-truck which now can be used on the guest bed okay so there's that one so I have my two corners and yet see they still don't okay. let's flip it maybe because I got them flipped oh my gosh y'all okay use my chin until winter comes and yet still until winter comes until winter comes it really makes me wonder okay yeah it makes so, me wonder so there it is and it's usually why i end up wadding them up because i get frustrated oh i wonder Replacing this table because I think I need something with more drawers in it because this is the table that's always between our two chairs 
and my husband sits here and edits his videos and I sit there and, and I work on his thumbnails on Canva on my phone. So I'm thinking I probably need to get a different end table that has more storage in it. So maybe I can hit some flea markets or some yard sales or something and find that. But in the meantime, we got this one little drawer here that we keep things in. So let's get this cleaned up. It really makes me wonder. company and they're supposed to be sending me a refund so it lasted about a year and a half I guess or less than a year no it had it lasted a year because it was still within the one-year warranty so I guess we'll not buy a different short clean vacuum because I have my big vacuum which is what I'm gonna go get now to clean the rest of this up because when I use a broom it stirs up the dust even though I use it occasionally and I guess that's what I'll use now. But we'll go get Mother Vacuum. Dandy dandy. Tried and true. Missile vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Purchased from Walmart over four years ago. Still working great. So we're gonna plug her up and use her. I'm so thankful that I can rely on my backup vacuum cleaner my Bissell canister vacuum. I've had this vacuum since we moved into this house almost four and a half years ago. It is very reliable. So we're just gonna get all of this dust and crumbs and stuff picked up because yes, we do tend to eat in our recliners sometimes. Get all these spider webs and get it clean. It was such a beautiful day outside today and the sun was shining and for the first part of February it was relatively warm. I think it got up into the upper 60s maybe 71 or 72 but it was so nice outside today but I had to get my house cleaned up and get this video filmed so I could upload it for you guys some of my favorite people that I consider my friends. I'm one of those that has to move her furniture in order to clean. And um, <laughs> I'm getting close to 60, so I know inevitably I'm going to have to stop this, but I do what I can now.
So I have to ask y'all, how many times do you move your house around? A month? Every two months? How often do you rearrange? Is it normal? <laughs> Because I rearrange all the time. For me, it's like if I don't move my furniture around, I don't feel like it's clean because you have to get I have to get underneath it. Okay. So this is my current storage situation for my blankets. As you can see, it's already full. And I have all of those that I need to store away. So, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? I may just see if I just can't locate one of those big wicker baskets to put my, to put my blankets in. What do you think? Okay, so we are going to rearrange. We're going to put this couch back over here facing that way because the television's going to go back over there. When you're my age, you got big legs, <laughs> you use them to move your furniture. And you just, that's what I like about not having really thick carpets, is I can pretty much slide my furniture around. And I don't hurt my back that way. Now, like I said, when I get older, I know I'm going to be facing a time when I can't do this. We have a lot lighter furniture than not a couch with incliners and then two recliners. What were we thinking? And yes, this couch is very heavy, but it's not as heavy as some I have had in the past. So I'm just going to move it around, pushing with my legs and trying not to pick up on the piece of furniture. be getting a bigger diameter rod for that because I love my drop cloth curtains I absolutely absolutely love my drop cloth curtains but that needs to be bigger so. do y'all have drop cloth curtains in your house yet it's a little bit of work, but it's make sure you wash them before you put them up, though. If you get them, I'm gonna get my back. And you can find videos on YouTube on how to make the drop cloth curtains pretty easily. I found the video that I watched on the White Cottage Company YouTube channel, and she shows how to do it step by step. And it's really not that hard. It just takes a little time and effort. So now, okay, I might get the hubs to help me do this. He's busy right now, so <laughs> I'll do it myself. Another example of me being stubborn and independent, rather than waiting for my husband to finish what he was doing and help me, I didn't want to bother him, so I decided I would just move this piece myself. While it wasn't near as heavy as the couch, it was just kind of bulky and I didn't want to drag it and mess up the legs or anything on it, no more than I had to. 
which I did drag it, but I did pick up on this a little bit. So I like furniture that's easy to move around because like I said, I like to move my furniture around and clean under it and redecorate. You can change a room just by moving the furniture around. move the television. Thankfully, the hubby didn't get a bigger TV because if he got a bigger TV, I don't think I could move it by myself. He's a man, of course, and he would like to have the big 75 inch television, but our house is so small, we don't need a television that's that big. to be able to hang freely. So make sure I have room behind here so that my curtains hang freely. Okay? So, now, we have the TV moved. So now I'm gonna go in with these scented Swiffer dusters. They smell so good, they're scented with Febreze. So while it's also dusting, it's also making my house smell really good and clean. I like this, um, and I also use them to clean the ceiling fans. So now I'm going to move my lanterns over here so that they flank um, this side of the television, and then we'll just continue with our cleaning. And you can create a cozy atmosphere in your home by using things that you already had. Use soft elements such as throw pillows and throws or covers or coverlets or blankets. And then also just like some candles and some wood tones in your house. It adds a, a touch of softness to your home. And here I am. I've got to get underneath this throw carpet or throw rug. It's not really a throw rug. Area rug, that's what it's called. This is where I miss that small cordless vacuum because this vacuum has so much suction that it's really hard even to sit on the highest setting. It's hard to vacuum this carpet because it tends to drag and suction to the carpet while it does get it clean but it makes it hard to push it forward and then it's easy to pull back but it's hard to push forward okay so we got it rearranged now for the living room where it's gonna be We'll probably put a little table over there. But now we got to clean this. Our kitchen table has become the catch all. Actually, the kitchen table and the countertop on the other side of the kitchen. Because when we come in, like when I come in from work, the first place I stop is the kitchen table and I drop my purse and I drop paperwork, my satchel, whatever it is. Things we go to the grocery store and pick up, packages that come in, stuff from maybe breakfast this morning or dinner last night. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. I tend to be slightly OCD. Um, when it comes to cleaning and clutter. Yes, my house does get cluttered from time to time, and we live in it, so it does get dirty, but I grew up in an environment where my mother was somewhat of a hoarder. She would keep everything and never throw anything away, and so clutter stresses me out, and so I will go through from time to time and organize drawers and closets and just get rid of stuff. 
and if we're not using it I will either either donate it or throw it away because I think that's where my OCD tendencies come from is because I went to the other end of the spectrum because I lived in such a and hoarding environment. Now, our house was not nasty by any means. cleaning products that I use. Um, this is the seventh generation dishwashing gel. Not dishwasher. Dishwasher. It goes in your dishwasher. I get this stuff from Girl Collaborative. No, I'm not sponsored. Of course, my Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner. This is the all-purpose cleaner in the Apple Honey Crisp. It was on sale. That's why I got it. The antibacterial, I use this to clean the bathrooms. And then, of course, the seventh generation dishwashing liquid that I use when I hand wash dishes or whatever. And then this is the world's best glass cleaner. I love this stuff. You can get it at Dollar General. And then for my greasy method, heavy duty degreaser clean my vent hood filter with this. I clean my greasy cooktop stove to get the grease off of it on a daily basis. I use this stuff on a daily basis. So we're going to get all this stuff put up and finish cleaning. And I have to say, I absolutely love my dishwasher. It saves me so much work. I can load this at the end of the night and turn it on and go to bed and when I come home from work the next day I can unload it and my dishes are clean. It makes it easier to quote unquote put my kitchen to sleep or to bed at night. So I love my dishwasher and dishwashers actually use less water than if you ran a sink full of water and washed your dishes by hand. Honestly, it's the truth. So I'm going to get all these dishes put up and put away and move on to the next task at hand. get these dishes put away, get the counters wiped off, get some of the uh, small appliances put into different areas, get these silverware put away, and get this kitchen finished up. I remodeled my kitchen about a year ago this April, my nephew came from San Antonio and helped me 
change out the cabinets and move things around and I really love my kitchen the only thing I must confess that I do miss is my island because it's very convenient and a lot easier to work on an island that is countertop height rather than trying to work on a table which our table that we made I absolutely love it and I had my TV stand in here for a little while as an island so I'm going to be looking at options of trying to do something but that doesn't have the cracks in the slats for the food and stuff to get down in because that's just not easy to keep sanitary. Now I'm going to clean my K-Pot. Every once in a while make sure that you take it apart and you clean your water reservoir and you clean the inside and wash it out and clean it really well. My, has, my husband uses this more than I do because he drinks more hot chocolate than I do. We don't really drink coffee, but we do keep coffee for our visitors that come over like one of my best friends. She loves coffee. She drinks so much coffee, but that's my friend Monica. And when she comes over, I always make sure that I have coffee because I want her to feel welcome in my home. So I'm going to provide coffee for one of my best friends. general. We purchased a new storage container to put all of my Christmas decor, my fall decor, my spring decor, anyway, all of my decor items and my tools that I use, such as my miter saw and stuff. And so everything is packed and part of my decor for my kitchen for not holiday time are in those storage containers and at the moment I can't find it so the decor will be kept at a minimum for this video but I will have a longer video next time when I decorate for spring and summer but anyway I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get these counters cleaned I'm going to get some small appliances moved around where I can make it a little more efficient for me when I work in the kitchen I'm doing a lot more cooking at home and we're doing a lot more eating at home since my husband retired. So I'm just trying to find the good placement for the appliances so that it creates a good flow when I'm cooking and mixing and baking and all of that. That rolling pin arrangement you see there will have a new home and it will look a little different when I move it because I'm going to move it onto the other side of the kitchen and do just a little bit different with it. Try to make it look a little different and freshen it up a little bit. Make sure when you clean your kitchen that you do a quick wipe down on your cabinets because if you don't, if you don't wipe down your cabinets, the dust will pile up on your cabinets on your doors and your drawers and it's actually harder to get off the more that's on there so just do a quick wipe with a damp cloth and if you're like me and you find something spilled it may take a little more time to scrub it off okay now it's time to put up some decor this is the tray that I made last year in a video and it's going to be my little vignette here on the right side of my sink and I'm adding this little plant that I already had that I used last year. I like to add a little bit of greenery to maybe pull in a little bit of spring this time of year so it's not so gloomy and dismal 
and then that's my regular soap dispenser and then my bubble up scrubber that I got from Grove Collaborative. That is really good when you have stuck on stuff to use to get your pots and pans clean and that's quick and easy and it's from stuff that I already had, nothing new. But I just can't decide where I want to place it. I think I finally figured it out though. This little sign here, if you watched my last thrifting and haul video, I received in my decor stills box. Now these little metal flowers I've had for a long time. I bought them when we first moved into this house back in 2019. I've just had them in different areas of my house. But I love to change things up a little bit and since I already had them, I might as well use them. I had to add a little string to this sign so that it would actually hang up, but it, it's really nice. It says the good old days are still yet to come. Are still to come. That's right. The good old days are still coming and we are blessed every day. Every day that we wake up and breathe of a morning, we are blessed and we should never take that for granted. And here again, I'm pulling items from other places in my kitchen that I had either stored or put up in the cabinet, such as these white stoneware mugs. And this little white stoneware container I purchased at a flea market years ago. I, I know I've probably had it at least three years and I've never really found a use for it. So there, add some little marshmallows in it, steal me a bite while I'm at it, and then put all of my other containers over here on this side. And keep those Tootsie Rolls at hand because you never know when the grandkids are going to show up or the great grandbabies are going to show up. And so as you can see, I really didn't like the containers there. So I thought, why don't I just put these items on my mobile baking station and then I can just pull from that. So that's what I did. Now I'm going to clean, not clean, I'm going to dry my parts for my Keurig and get it all put back together and ready to go for next week. And now we can't forget to mop these floors. I use the Fabuloso because it smells so good and it's not really expensive and it's not harsh and I use my O Cedar. It is the older model. It doesn't separate the water, you know, where you have the clean water and the dirty water. I just, I really would like to buy one of those. I just can never remember to look for one when I go to Walmart. You know, I hear on social media so many people talking about different types of love language, which language is not necessarily only the spoken or written word. Language can be through things that you do for other people, things that you do for yourself. So my love language for my family is cooking and cleaning and homemaking. That's what I do for my family. I love to provide a clean, comfortable, and cozy home, and I love to bake and cook for my family. So I guess that's my love language. Well, we are all clean and reset in the kitchen. 
and the living room. I've just got to take that to my daughter. But the floors are mopped, they're still drying, all the dishes are done. I haven't decorated yet other than that. And I put a little bit over here. I did do this, but this is basically my same rolling pin. I just did them straight up rather than them leaning. And that is actually the cutting board that I got in my decor steels box. And of course this stays here. Um, like I said, we got a new storage container and all of my stuff has been moved and I can't find it. And I've really got to go grocery shopping, so this will be my mobile baking station. That's a humidifier because we've got so much static electricity in the house right now, but anyway, this is basically the same. I did hang up these, which you saw. This is, ow, that's hot. Okay, let's move that down. My Scentsy Warmer, hot. Be careful with that. But this I got in the Decor Steels box. The good old days are still to come. But in these I had, and all of this I had, from my little vignette here by the kitchen sink. So I still got a few dishes drying. I went through my spices and I saved the lids off of my expired spices because those will fit my regular spice jars. I'll put these away when they're dry. Move the microwave a little bit and I move my air fryer. So now we are enjoying the warm weather on February. It's in the upper 60s and I'll do a shot of this at night. Of course I'm not finished with my fireplace yet but that here is the lamp that I got on my last thrifting trip. Absolutely love it. I love it. And I got that. And that's cute but I'm probably I would like to find me some tall lamps like this to flank each side of my fireplace I just haven't found them yet if I can find another one to match that one I will move that and I put my clock there so here we are and we're done ready and clean for the new week I want to thank you so much for watching the video today and I hope that you have enjoyed it and that you have received some inspiration to do the cleaning at your house and thank you so much for watching and remember what I always say make sure you take time to go out and make those memories with the ones you love God bless you see you in the next video